I do my best to serve you a really good appetizer. Like your first favorite food wrapped around your third favorite food. You know what I'm talking about, bacon wrapped shrimp. We have toddler twins, Keenan and Evie, and feeding twins is, is quite a thing. If, if you've never been around it, feeding one kid, we had McKinley first, she's four, and, and you could take a spoonful and put it in and then wipe their mouth and make sure they got everything in. But when it comes to twins, it's just too hard to do that with two kids. So a lot of times we'll put them in these chairs that are raised on our counter and they'll sit there at these chairs and we'll give them their food and it, inevitably, more than half of the food ends up on the floor. They, they miss their mouths, they drop it, they throw it, they knock over the plate, they knock over each other's plate. It's a crazy mess on the floor. Sometimes we give them food and they don't want it, so it all goes on the floor. And then you're thinking, what the heck do we do? So this is the crazy thing. We'll take them down and we'll put them down. Fine, if you don't want to eat, you don't have to eat right now. Don't worry, kids get hungry and they eat, okay? I'm not neglecting my children. But then what do they do? Almost without fail, when we put them on the ground, they go straight for the food on the ground. They see those scraps on the ground that they wouldn't eat when they were sitting at the counter. Now that they're on the ground, they pick them up and eat them. And if you're thinking, oh my gosh, how could you do that? You hypochondriacs, don't worry about it. You can start judging me when you have your own twins. And then we'll talk, okay? The point is they do it anyways. They eat this food and sometimes we just kind of let them because they're getting some food. And, and Melissa looked at that one day and it, she remarked to me, she said, you know, that's a lot, uh, very similar to the way people get God's word. Yeah, we're supposed to eat God's word. We're supposed to be fed on God's word, that every word that comes from God is like the bread that we can live on. And yet a lot of people are just eating tiny little scraps that get thrown on the ground. Yes, that's right. The only Bible a lot of you get is this video. And I hope that you keep watching these videos, but it's not enough. Some of you get the Bible verse that's retweeted by somebody else, or maybe you'll get a little tiny quote of a Bible verse from your favorite preacher. But those are just scraps, okay? They, they might taste good for a little bit, but those little morsels aren't enough. Even these videos are really just an appetizer. And I hope they're good appetizers. I do my best to serve you a really good appetizer. Like your first favorite food wrapped around your third favorite food. You know what I'm talking about, bacon wrapped shrimp. We all like it, right? I'm trying to give you good appetizers. Jason, you like that? Yes, I do. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> yeah, we, you know, we, we want a good appetizer. That's what this is. But it's not not a full meal, it's, it's not a feast, but God wants you to feast on his word. So if you're watching this video or if you're only getting snippets of verses, I wanna encourage you to eat for yourself. You have a Bible. If you're watching this on a phone, you have the YouVersion Bible app. Download it and start reading your Bible. Read a few verses, read a chapter, re read a few chapters a day, whatever it takes. Read it for yourself. Maybe even listen to a message, a whole sermon preached. I, I got a few of them. I'll, I'll link to one of them. You can join us for our Lost and Found series or, or another series that we're going to be doing. Make sure that you're getting more to eat. I, I want you to be like Jeremiah, who, who said, when your words came, I ate them. They are my joy and my heart's delight. It's a whole feast you can eat and enjoy. Stop eating the scraps that fall on the floor. Eat it for yourself and feast. So if you like this, make sure you subscribe at the bottom. If you have any questions about the Bible, concerns, criticism, don't like it at all, I, I, that's what I'm dealing, in the, dealing with in these midweek moments right now. Send your questions, comment below, send me a direct message. I would love to answer whatever questions you have or criticism you have of the Bible. And I'll see you next week. Make sure you subscribe.